I'm not used to this, my friends. Tier 7 is hard. Greetings, my excellent friends, and welcome back to episode 20 of The Culture Club. I am Kirk Sheridan, and you join me six matches in to the Isthmian Premier Division. GTS Culture are 10th. Not used to this at all. We're used to absolutely storming it at the top of the league, and we are finding this transition difficult. We're only one point outside the playoff places, which is where the board are expecting us to finish this year. But we're nine points off the top team after six games. This is not going to be a promotion cakewalk that we're used to, I'm afraid. Expect some playoffs at the end of the season if we can hit and sustain a decent run of form. One thing that is not helping is the games are coming thick and fast. For the last few weeks, we've been playing Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. And we're doing it again for another month. And these guys are training part-time. They just haven't got the energy to be able to play two games in a week. So we have a lot of tired players. For the next match, we've got Dejon Noel Williams away on international duty. Good for him, but he's one of our better players this season so far. Bit of a shame that we're losing him. Kelly's tired. Yates is tired. We've got Gale tired there as well. Half the bench are tired. This is... Uh, yeah, we're down to bare bones. Addy is having to play on the left wing, but he's tired too. I just hope that our opposition are equally tired. But you can see just we're, we're nowhere near our previous performance levels. We're used to seeing so many of the team getting a 7 plus average rating. And they are very few and far between. Our XG generally has been... Okay, though, I think we've been performing all right. We just haven't been putting the chances away. This match against the Metropolitan Police is a clear example. 2.69 XG, 24 shots, and we only scored once. So I'm going to keep the faith. I think we are doing the right things, and I'm hoping two wins on the bounce today will get us back on track. And I will just point out we have brought a new goalkeeper in on trial. I'm waiting to see what his mental attributes are going to be like, those GTS culture requirements. I'm really hoping they're good enough, because as things stand, he would be the best goalkeeper at the club. He's got to be better than Wharton, surely. We shall see. So for the first of two matches today, we are playing Rushall in the first qualifying round of the FA Cup. Rushall in the same tier as us, in another part of the country. They're currently 18th in their division. We're 10th in ours. So I'm hoping we should be able to put on a decent show. We are at home as well and away against Whitehawk in the league in the following match. We need this one quite significantly. £165,500 in the red at the moment. Two grand if we win this first qualifying round. That would help a bit. As always, we'll accept the opposition instructions from our assistant manager, but we're getting to the point where I think I need to pay closer attention to the recommendations that are being made. And here is the team. We have Wharton in goal, back three of Hoyle, Leslie Smith and Watson, with Ballinger and McWilliams at wing back today. We've got Wharton and Hinshelwood in midfield with Addy, Amanchi and Minhas up front. And I'm going to change this so that Amanchi plays as that wide target forward. On the bench, we've got Ormson, Finch, Bingham, Swift, O'Dwyer, Vincent and Pitchford. As I say, quite a few of them quite tired, so it'll be interesting to see who comes on and who we can give a proper rest to uh, ahead of the match with Whitehawk in just a few days' time. A lot of the team's still getting used to the formation, so Addy, because he normally plays as an inside forward, isn't comfortable. Watson's still recently join the team i hope when we've properly bedded in that this will be the formation to see us through the next few seasons but can't lie i'm starting to get a few concerns right this is a match that we should be winning so i'm pumping my fists and managed to motivate three players 
Well, that's better than none. Four minutes in, we've had a lot of possession. It's cleared out to Wharton on the edge of the area. To McWilliams, Hinshelwood plays it down to Amanchi, who manages to hide in the corner of the box. McWilliams is going to float one in. No, it goes to Hinshelwood. Oh, McWilliams does float one in. Addy with a header in the back of the net. Six minutes on the clock. That is the start that I've been waiting for. Yes! Oh, left foot cross from McWilliams there on his uh, weaker foot. Great effort. And Addy cutting in from the left wing. Excellent start. Let's see if we can keep this up. So already after 10 minutes, we've had three shots on target. All the possession. Dare I say it, it looks, looks like this could be a fairly easy match. And I'm going to regret saying that immediately, aren't I? They've, they've got the ball, knocking it around in front of us. A long ball over the top. Allen is through and manages to smack one straight over the top of the bar. Thankfully, I didn't regret it. 65% possession towards the end of the first half. This is looking solid. Okay. I'm enjoying this. Oh, could we get another one here? McWilliams with the corner. Amanchi. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Unfortunately, not quite on target. Now that, not many highlights, but to be honest, I um, can't complain. That has been one of our better first half performances pretty much since the first match of the season, actually. Most of the possession, a huge number of shots. This has been pretty dominant absolutely happy with the number of shots on target oh the ball is cut out autumn was trying to play one through but their 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 man hindle runs down the wing alan to coil moene hindle they've got some they've got some great name no that surely surely that is offside that has to be offside no way you're kidding who played him on side that's absolutely ridiculous who played him on there's no look he's a he's He's right. Who? He was offside. Surely. Goodness me. I am. I am at a loss. Maybe you saw something that I didn't know, but that looked clearly, clearly offside. Oh! Once again, we've conceded after barely giving away any decent opportunities. This is getting really frustrating. Please let that new goalkeeper be good. Please, please, please. So what can I do here? What are my options? Addy has to come off and I don't have a natural left winger to put on in his place. Really lacking with squad depth this year as well. Ballinger's not having a great game at wing back. Yeah, Vincent will come on for Addy, switch to left wing back, pushing Ballinger forward to the left wing and that will do for now. Half an hour left. We've been but just by far the better team. We absolutely have to win this match. So Watson with a short ball. And Manchi gets on it. McWilliams with the crossover. Ballinger. Oh, it's just over the top. If Addy had been on there, that might have gone in the back of the net. 20 shots, 9 on target so far. Oh, come on, come on. I'm going to do something out of the ordinary here. Going to play Wharton on the right wing as an advanced playmaker so that we can bring Bingham on as our deep lying playmaker. I think we need Bingham's threat from set pieces. Okay, we're going to play one out from the back. Leslie Smith to Bingham. Long ball up to Minhas. He's got very little in the terms of support, but ball comes to Ballinger. Back to Bingham, into Minhas again. Floats one right out to the to McWilliams. Wharton to McWilliams. Can we get one in? We can, Ballinger. And it's over the top again. Urgh. Right, we are going attacking here. Bingham floats one in. Leslie Smith off the post. Oh, my gosh. And it's cleared off the line. Oh, dear me. How are we not winning this match? <laughs> Vincent with a throw in. Ballinger to Vincent in. Oh, come on, Hinshelwood hits one. Oh, and it's just over the bar. Oh, this is not doing my heart rate any good at all. Just running out of options. There's no one really on the bench who can come on and change the game. So Ballinger will come off. We'll bring Pitchford on. Minhas is going to play as an inside forward. Pitchford playing as the advanced forward. 
This is completely makeshift. We have 10 minutes remaining. We should already be winning this match. Right, Bingham with free kick. Floats it to Leslie Smith and it's in! Yes! <laughs> I knew, I had faith, had total faith. That was always going to happen. Please don't concede, please don't concede, please don't concede. We have a corner. Leslie Smith again. Oh gosh, and it's cleared off the line again. Okay, we're looking good. We are looking good. Hoyle to Vincent. Long ball up to absolutely nobody. They have acres of space to run into. Leslie Smith clears it to Pitchford. Okay, great. Oh, beautiful lofted ball out to Wharton. Let's see what he can do. Can he get a cross in? No, he hammers it straight into the hands of the goalkeeper and they do manage to get it away but only as far as Watson, Hinshelwood Wharton again, back to Hinshelwood McWilliams, Wharton, Pitchford Bingham, Pitchford cleared Minhas now, Pitchford again Bingham with a lofted ball through Wharton, what can he do cuts it back to McWilliams and it's cleared, that was a nice little stretch of play there but we just didn't make enough of it and they can't no that's got to be offside surely no that has to be offside they can't have done it again oh my goodness i can't believe this we're defending so badly <sighs> hoyle just doesn't keep up with him and wharton has to be dropped just conceding too many goals he's not doing himself any favors that is awful and the worst news about this is that we've now got probably a replay the last thing we need is another match well at least we didn't lose we did look really really strong but my god we need a new goalkeeper and it is the white hawk match that has been postponed so we are playing <laughs> The replay next. Change of plan. You've got two FA Cup qualifying round games today. In between matches, though, we're continuing to load up with exciting young prospects. Max Gianni being the latest, only £35 a week. Can play up front and across all of the three attacking midfield positions. So hopefully, as he does develop, he could become a National League North-South standard player. Fingers crossed. He'll be one who develops through the season and gives us a few more options. And in most interesting news, we have apparently repaired the club's financial damage. I'm not quite sure what's happened there, because £169,000 in debt does not look like financial damage repaired to me. Past. Maybe you're just as confused as I am. Right, so we have made significant changes to the team for this replay. It's on the Tuesday, not the Wednesday, so we've had an even tighter turnaround. It basically means nearly everyone who started the previous match is tired. I'm going to bank on the fact that their team are pretty much all tired too. So, in goal, Ormson. I've had enough of seeing Wharton just concede far too many goals. We've got Hoyle still in the team, uh, but we've brought in Kelly and O'Dwyer for the other central defensive positions. Vincent and Yates are in as wing-backs. Bingham, and we're playing Swift in midfield. Then we've got Gale, new boy who you just saw assigned Gianni, getting thrown straight into the first team, but Noel Williams is back up front. We played so well in the last match and shouldn't have even had this go to a replay. We've got some quality players on the bench we can bring on, but they are nearly all tired 10 changes from the last match i mean this is gonna go well isn't it once again this is a match we should be winning and that's only motivated liam kelly well liam i praise you for your response I'm glad you're taking this seriously 20 minutes and a free kick for rush all they run down the wing looks like they're gonna float across in they do but we clear it. Bingham, can he get... No, Bingham just stops running for some bizarre reason. And they're in behind. And thankfully, the cross is played far too wide. But 
Our players, for some bizarre reason, just don't seem to want to actually run towards the ball today. Considering that they are the ones who aren't tired, that's an interesting strategy, I must be honest. But if you look at the state of our team compared to theirs, you can see just how tired they are. So they are going to definitely struggle in the second half, I think. This is where we can hopefully come into our own with our fresher team. I think it's time to shout a bit of encouragement to the team. Here we go. 53 minutes and we've got an attack. Gianni, who is injured, possibly. Great stuff. Swift to Bingham. Swift again. To Bingham. They're being pushed back. Noel Williams to Gianni. Can he thread one through? Bingham can get one through. Oh, off the bar. No post, Stephen. I can't even work out what's horizontal and what's vertical. That's how frustrated I am by what I'm seeing today. We've got an hour down. Their team look like they're mostly absolutely shattered. So it's time to bring on, I think, some of our big guns. A Manchi for Gianni feels like an obvious choice. Bringing on that wide target forward. And I think we're going to need to bring on Hinshelwood. Swift is already playing in an unfamiliar position. Unfortunately, the ball is with Rushall, but breaks clean to us. Yates picks it up towards the back to O'Dwyer. Back to Ormson, who plays it nice and gently to Hoyle. Kelly threads one through directly to their fullback. Excellent ball there. Oh, these boys just do not want to win, do they? And that's just, thankfully, wide of the post. We cannot afford for this to go to extra time and to ruin our playing squad. So, Wharton's going to come on for Bingham there. And you know what? We're going to go all out. Play a bit more direct. We'll play high tempo. We'll push really high. We have 10 minutes. We're just playing so badly. I, 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 that was straight at Ormson. How, 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 how did he not save that? What are we doing? How and why have we become rubbish? I don't understand. A crophy in loads of space, but it's right next to Ormson. So we have to go attacking now. Right, we get a free kick. Gale in <laughs> win off the crossbar Right We could still come away with a victory Please do not let this go to extra time Just 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 it just can't it just can't Why is no Williams playing on the wing? What's got what what's happened there? They're all playing in completely the wrong positions. How did that happen? Right very attacking. Five minutes of injury time. We do this. Last roll of the dice. I can't believe it. It's extra time. You know, we're, we're going to stay like this. Let's give it a go. We need to get the ball back and get up the other end. Do not let them have... No. Close him down. Everyone's absolutely shattered now. We do need to change the tactic back to something slightly less stupid. Oh, Ormson made a save! Only because it was right at his feet. But there we go. Right, Amanshi gets it to Wharton, who bursts through. Come on! No, straight at the goalkeeper. Oh. I'm going to have to seriously consider changing this formation. I really did think that this three at the back was going to be the answer to our goalkeeping problems. But it's not. We're still giving away such cheap goals... And at the same time, we are not creating enough opportunities. And now Vincent is injured. Have I got another substitution? No. Brilliant. Well, I guess we will need to play Gale as a defensive winger. Walton's going to have to slide back in there as an advanced playmaker. Right, we do get a free kick. Gale, no Williams. Oh, what a finish. How? They allowed the goals that the other team scored that were blatantly offside in the last match. Oh, this is a point where, as a manager, I, I'm i really running out of ideas. They get a corner. It's cleared to the edge of the box. It's off the post and cleared. They get another corner. We're down to ten men. Everyone's shattered. Oh, this is just awful to watch. 
But we do manage to hook it clear. Hinshelwood, a manshe. Yates plays it into Walton and it's intercepted. They break down the left wing. Float one across that. Again, surely that is offside. Yes, finally the referee makes a good decision. <laughs> We've got one minute of injury time and then it's penalties. The lovely, wonderful penalties. Oh, God. Come on, Noel Williams. What can you do? Walton plays it out to Yates, who's bombing down. Oh, my God. No, to their goalkeeper. And that's it. I have a horrible feeling this is not going to end well. Rush will start. And Ormson doesn't save. Given a quality of goalkeeping at the moment. I'm not expecting our goalkeepers to make any saves in this penalty shootout. So we're relying on them to miss. Man, she does score our first. Serious thinking to do ahead of our next league match. Is it a formation change that's required? Is it a tactical change in terms of our style of play? But we're just not firing on all cylinders at the moment. The culture club requires me to motivate this team to fire them up to make sure that I'm giving them every opportunity to succeed and I'm just not sure what to do. Three, two to them. Gale slots one beautifully into the bottom corner. We are relying on O'Mahony to completely fluff his lines. Then he doesn't. Ormson barely jumps. Our new star midfielder. Please, Alt. Please, Walton. Yes, okay, good penalty. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Now we need Rushall to miss. I told you. I told you we weren't expecting Ormson to save any penalties in this shootout. Now watch it all go horribly wrong. Club captain James Hoyle to keep us in the FA Cup. And it's saved. This episode's pretty much been a disaster. We should have comfortably won that first match, got the better of the XG in this particular game, and lost on penalties. And had an injury to our starting left wing back. Every single part of me is wanting to throw a water bottle right now, but this is all about Mr. Culture keeping it together. I am proud of your efforts. And they don't care. I think they're as annoyed as I am. So we won a phenomenal £764 for that loss. And Vincent, thankfully, is only out for two to three days. That is something. But in terms of the club vision, we failed to reach the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. Currently on a C plus in terms of manager performance, which I think is probably the lowest it's ever been. Job security was secure when we started this episode. It's now stable. That's a worry. So we have another few matches in the Isthmian Premier Division to play through. And I think we're going to have to come back to see how we stack up against Corinthian casuals. I hope by then when we play Corinthian casuals at home in the league... We're back on form, we've sorted our goalkeeping issue and we're looking like we belong in the playoff places in this division. We've definitely got some work to do. If you have enjoyed what you've watched today, join me again soon. Subscribe to the channel so you know the second the next video is released and please do drop a like on this video as well. In the meantime, be excellent to each other just as I am planning to be excellent to my squad and not tell them how I'm really genuinely feeling about them right now. I'm Kirk Sheridan. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.